Steam Scholars, it's Miss Wilson joining you on your summer break. The sun is out, the weather is getting warmer, and it is the best time to spend with family and friends and even work on some fun STEAM projects. To help us figure out what we will learn for this unit, I have a riddle that will give you a hint. But before we begin, let's go over our design process because this is something we as engineers and scientists will use every time we do our projects. With any project, we are going to A, ask, what is the problem or what am I trying to create or solve? B, brainstorm, how can I solve or make what I'm trying to create? C, collect, you're gonna collect information, data, or use prior knowledge that you have to help you with your creation. D, develop. Think of a plan and create your project. E, evaluate. What works? What doesn't work? Or what can you do to make it better? F, fine tune. I will try again until my design is where I want it to be. Let's go over each letter in the word STEAM. If you know it, say it with me. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Awesome job! Now, here is our riddle. What does a swimming pool, rain, and a bottle of H2O all have in common? Pause this video to take time to guess the riddle. If you said water, woohoo! You guessed correctly. Round of applause to you. Today we are going to learn about the water, 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 water cycle. That's how my friends Blazer Fresh from Go Noodle sings their water cycle song. If you haven't heard it, you should check them out after this video. The water cycle is the path that all water follows as it moves around our planet. A cycle is a circle of events that repeats in a regular pattern. That means the water in your sink, to the rain that falls down, to the water in the lakes and the oceans are all connected. Water exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. If these words are new to you, don't worry. We will go over these words soon. The water cycle has three main stages, evaporation, precipitation, and condensation. Let's go over our key terms and then we can explore. Solid. A solid is something that keeps its shape. In water, we call this frozen or ice. We also see solids in popsicles. Liquid. Liquid is something that flows freely and it takes the shape of whatever it is in. We see this in juice, water, and anything else we drink. Gas. Gas is also called steam or water vapor. When the water boils, it will turn into water vapor. Think about when you cook noodles or eat anything hot. Before you blow your food, you see the steam from the food telling you that your food is hot. Evaporation. This is when the warmth from the sun causes water from oceans, lakes, streams, and ice or soil to rise in the air and turn to water vapor, which is a gas. Water vapor droplets join together to make clouds. Condensation. Condensation is when the water vapor in the air cools down and turns back into liquid water. You see condensation on the outside of a glass of a really cold drink on a hot day. Precipitation. This is when the clouds become too heavy and the water in them, in the form of rain, snow, hail, or sleet, falls from the clouds in the sky. And collection. Collection is when the water falls from the clouds as rain, snow, hail, or sleet, and collects in oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Most of the water will soak into the ground and will collect as underground water. 
So it's challenge time. Let's put what we learned into our projects that we can see and touch for better understanding. Today, we are going to recreate the water cycle. So for this project, you will need light blue paper, dark blue construction paper, white copy paper, and yellow construction paper. You'll also need five cotton balls, two different crayons, scissors, green, red, blue, and black Sharpies, a Ziploc bag, tape, glue, water, and food coloring. Here are our instructions. You are going to cut out a medium-sized rectangle from your dark blue construction paper. Step two, using your crowns, we are going to draw water waves to represent the ocean. Now, using your black marker, we are going to sound out and write the word collection. So collection um, starts with a k, 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 which is the letter C. So we're gonna write C, K, O, K, O, so O, L, L, two L's, E, eh, E, eh, which is the letter E, and then K, letter C, and shun, our suffix shun, which is T-I-O-N, collection. And we wrote the word collection where we drew our water waves. Now, step four, we are going to take our light blue construction paper and cut it into five strips. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, and five strips. On three of your light blue paper strips, we are gonna draw raindrops coming down using one of our crayon colors. All right, and now we're gonna use our marker and we are gonna write the letter P, a capital letter P, for precipitation on each of those three strips. Next, we are gonna use the other two light blue paper strips and draw raindrops going up And we're gonna use our other crown to do that. And we are going to get our black marker again and we are going to write a capital letter E for evaporation. Very good. Now you are gonna take out your white copy paper and write, we're gonna cut out a medium size rectangle and we are going to write a capital letter C for condensation. So we have our white copy paper. Now we are going to write a capital letter C in the middle for condensation. 
and we are going to take out our five cotton balls and separate the cotton balls into smaller pieces. So you're going to glue and place your smaller pieces of cotton balls that represent the clouds on your white paper. Remember, you are an artist, so you can make your clouds any size or shape that you want and place them in any way that you want on your paper. All right, next, we are going to draw and color or cut out um, your sun. You can use your yellow construction paper or your extra white copy paper. It is your choice. I'm gonna use my yellow construction paper and I'm going to draw the sun on here. And my son is gonna be happy, so I'm gonna draw a little smiley face on him. Now we're gonna place all of our items in order, starting with the sun, and then our clouds and condensation, and then our light blue strips of precipitation and evaporation. And then lastly, our collection of water. Glue your light blue strips to your clouds and condensation and to your collection of water on the bottom. Now we are going to wrap the top and the bottom of your paper in a circle and then glue that together. So we are going to take top of this. Wrap it around. And that is okay if something breaks or pops off. You can always cool it. Remember, we are scientists. So we're going to keep trying. Very good, all right. So then we are gonna place our sun on top of our model. Great job, STEAM scholars. You have just created the water cycle. This tube represents how the water falls as rain, snow, hail, into the oceans, lakes, and even puddles. And then how some of it evaporates and returns to the clouds to do the cycle all over again. You should be very proud of yourselves. And before we go, let's do one more project so we can see with our eyes how the water cycle actually works. So this is where you'll get out the other supplies we haven't used yet. So your yellow, your blue, and your red, and your black markers, your tape, your Ziploc bag, and water and food coloring. So I'm gonna move this to the side because we are finished with that. And you can clear off your area so you can start a new project. All right, step one. On the bottom of our Ziploc bags, we are going to re recreate um, water waves just like we did on our tube. So we are going to get our blue marker and we're gonna make water waves. 
And it just need to be on the very bottom. Like that. Now you are going to write the word collection with your black marker, just like we did on our water cycle model. So remember collection. C -c 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 O L L E C T I O N collection. Great job. On the top of our waterways, we are going to draw a tree using our green Sharpie. Nice, all right. So next, in the corner of our bag, we are going to draw a sun. And we have a red marker to do that. If you have yellow markers at home or anything um, that you rather use at home, you can use that to draw your sun. All right, so I have my sun, my tree, and my water collection. Now we are going to draw arrows going up from the water to the sun. So I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna draw some arrows, some squiggly arrows. So we know that this water is going up. It's going up to the sun and it is going up to the sun because the water is is evaporating. So we are going to write a capital letter E for evaporation. Now I'm going to put it in the middle. E stands for evaporation. Awesome. Now we are going to draw three big clouds on the top of our Ziploc bag. So I'm going to get out my blue marker again and draw three big clouds. One. Now Next to our class, we are going to write the capital letter C for condensation. On the top of your cloud, C for condensation. Next, we are going to draw raindrops falling down near our tree. And next to those raindrops, we are going to write a capital letter P for precipitation. Next, you're going to pour a little bit of water into your Ziploc bag. You don't need much. A little goes a long way. And then we are going to add a few drops of food coloring, blue food coloring, inside your bag. Three drops is pretty good. You will need to ziplock your bag shut. You're going to place your tape or get your tape um, and place it on top of your Ziploc bag. You are going to take your Ziploc bag and place it on your window where the sun shines. You're gonna check your bag every hour and draw pictures or write sentences about what you see happening to the water in your bag. This will be a visual representation of the water cycle. That is all for today, my STEAM scholars. I hope you enjoy your summer break and continue learning and exploring STEAM during your break. Join me again for more STEAM challenges and experiments about the water cycle. And until next time, be great. Bye-bye.